Can, can you even see me? <clears throat> you might be asking yourself, what the heck is going on there? And why does he now have that weird hat on? Those are some good questions. First of all, starting this vlog in reverse order. Because in the spirit of today's being weird, I wanted to keep things weird. But instead of focusing on the weird stuff that didn't really go like I wanted to, we didn't get no traveling in or exploring, but instead of focusing on that, I wanted to focus on a positive thing. Last night, I spent my first night as a couchsurfing.com person. A couch surfer. Came out to my Jeep this morning. I parked downtown. Parking citation on my windshield. What's really weird is that from 8 a.m. to like 3 or 4, you can only park in that parking spot for two hours at a time. I knew that 8 o'clock that would start, I would have to move my Jeep by 10. Well, I get out there before 10, freaking parking citation on the windshield already. So I was like, what? This can't be happening. What is going on, man? What is going on? Then I look around, I start to notice what the heck? Was there a dang earthquake? Did the San Andreas fall finally fall? Or crumble? I don't know what. What does the fall do? It it falls, right? Or no? It splits. It breaks. It breaks apart. <laughs> fall. What was I saying? Now I got lost in the in the fall. The sidewalks were all torn apart, and then I saw a sign that said heavy construction from 7 a.m. until like yada yada. There was cars in front of me and behind me when I parked it. And then this morning, I was the only car on that road. It's like everyone knew these signs, invalid, incorrect. The invisible signs that are gonna appear magically in front of my Jeep in the morning, those ones are the correct ones. So everyone move your cars before seven because that's when the heavy construction comes in and starts cracking sidewalks. I was the only one I didn't know, somehow. Oh yeah, because because I can't see invisible signs. What do you don't get? Ga, 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 ga. Long story short, I open up the citation. I look inside. There's nothing in there. The guy that's next to me, that weird guy yelling at me, he's like, oh, well, you probably still are going to have to pay $60. He's more like this. Go online and pay you $60. $60? Dang. I go on freaking line. I punch in all the things I need to punch in. I see no fine. I punched in my license plate like every single way I could possibly punch it in. All capital letters, all small letters, random capital and small numbers. No fine. Every time, no fine. No citation found. Pretty much just getting... A little tired of living in the big city with the Jeep, which is my home right now. When you park it and leave it somewhere, it's a little different than just parking your car. It just adds extra stress. It adds stress that I've actually never dealt with. It's it's like a weird kind of primitivities that's happening. They got it inside of me. A little more priv primitivity. So I decided, you know what, man? I'm just going to drive a little bit south. So I'm like 30 minutes south of San Francisco. I think it's actually a bike trailhead. I don't got a bike. There's a parking lot here. They don't say oh, no overnight parking. Nothing about parking limit. So, I'm just a parking. And before I let you go, think that I should end on a good note. Elo, who is now my first couch surfing host, she says to me that I could stay at her, at her place for as long as you're in San Francisco. I was like, wow, you know, that's really nice of you. Go out of your way like that. Especially when it was just a meetup and, you know, I'd never asked and I wasn't gonna ask and she offered and this I don't know I just thought it was really nice of her I just want to say thank you Elo you're my first couch surfing host and you're my friend and you're a very good friend you're very cool uh Elo is a travel blogger and you can see her travel blog 
at travelingbirds.com. Really cool blog, she's a great writer. Start reading it, you can't stop reading. You just wanna keep reading. Oh my gosh, what's next, what's next, what's next? I just need to find out. You are awesome, thank you so much for being my first Couchsurfing Hearst, and I am glad to have met you. If you've never tried Couchsurfing before, I say check it out. Meet some cool people, see some cool places. But be careful, because there's people that probably want to eat your skin on there as well. So on that note, I will let you all go. Thank you for hanging out with me. We'll see what tomorrow brings us. I will see you tomorrow.